Ever dream you would get into doing this? <laughs> no. My name is Jason Graves. I'm the composer for the Dead Space series. So when I first got the call about this album, I thought the idea was genius, having this wonderful album of all these great video game themes. When I found out the London Philharmonic was involved, I kind of geeked out a little bit. And having Abbey Road record it as well, one of the best places in the world. So you've got the best orchestra in the world with one of the best recording studios in the world playing some of the best video game music in the world. It's definitely um, kind of a geek fest as far as I'm concerned, especially being a composer. I've worked with a lot of orchestras and they really are top notch. So composing for games, every game is really a completely different experience. The best case scenario is more of a long-term musical approach where I'm on the project for maybe a year or a year and a half and that's how it was with Dead Space. In fact, it was almost two years that I was involved with Dead Space. I'm always on my toes trying to figure out what to do next. So with Dead Space, that was actually a very interesting approach to the music. Um, they didn't necessarily end up with the music they thought they wanted at the beginning. Uh, when I first came on, I was doing some kind of heroic action sci-fi music where if it played in the background of the game, you would get pumped up and you'd want to run around the next corner and you know shoot some more aliens. And after about six months of testing it and kind of figuring out what they wanted to do, they came back and said, we need to, we need to start over. We need music that's going to just scare the pants off of anyone who plays. Just make you feel like you're going to die at any second. You know, this is survival horror and it needs to be as scary as possible. We need you to do the scariest music that's ever been written so that the game engine is actually what's playing the violins it'll turn them up when you get closer to the monsters and it'll turn them down when you back away from the monsters or it'll turn them off if you've killed the monsters. So it was kind of a deconstructive game approach where I recorded all these little tiny bits of orchestra and then we reassembled them all back in the game and then what you hear is four or five or six different things all playing in real time kind of moving up and down based on gameplay which is really really cool. It makes for a super interactive uh, gaming experience and it also works perfectly because it's horror music. I mean you can do anything in horror music. The worse it sounds, the better it sounds. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure? I think well. Yeah. I like to go to Amazon.com. <laughs> <laughs>